Sorry guys, my uh, internal DVD uh, ROM drive is not reading properly, so I thought I would take it out and clean the laser disc. And I realized uh, this DVD ROM drive is a little different than your regular DVD ROM drive. This is a this is a regular drive that you basically open up the faceplate and open up these four screws and the metal pieces come out and the laser is visible there this DVD ROM I have is a pioneer uh, it's have a couple of more extra screws and there is a laser guard on top here inside this metal plate and I'm going to show you how to uh, take it out and clean uh, the laser uh, first we'll go ahead and take a paper clip and enter it through this hole to take the tray out there you go the tray is out then we'll go ahead and take the face, face plate out uh, there's a couple of points here one two three and four that need to be released you know for this plate to come out Okay, I released the faceplate, and now the next step would be taking out the screws. I already took the screws out. There should be four screws: one, two, three, four, and there is one in on top. So once you have the four screws, the bottom and the top screwed out, you should be able to take uh, the top cover there you go it comes out just like that this is the laser covering protection I was talking about um, usually on a regular CD-ROM drive you don't have this part sitting there so um, to release that you have to take out these two screws Okay, once you take these two screws out, there you go, take the top plate out, uh, be careful about this part right here, don't lose it. And here is your laser, you clean that, okay, take your cotton swab and uh, uh, just soak one side on some uh, cleaning alcohol and just clean the top part of the laser out very carefully once it's done just dry it out with the other side okay once you're done cleaning the laser put your um, laser protection guard on top then take the two screws and uh, assemble it okay after you assemble the laser protection plate make sure you also check the belts on the pulleys just to make sure uh, that they are there and they're not broken or anything. If they're broken, the, the CD-ROM will not read. Uh, once you are done with this part, go ahead and put the top cover back on. Is that is is that easy? And then put the top screw back on. Uh, put the cover plate back on. Alright guys, there you go. Uh, if this video helped you anyway, please click the like button at the bottom of the video. And I thank you for watching and you have a good day. Thank you.